It's Trevor, here we are in Marbella. Birmingham City players are in the background, Gary Routes in the background. Let us into a secret, what are you doing here? Well, I've got a home here and uh, it was just pure coincidence that um, my holiday uh, for two weeks has coincided with uh, Birmingham City being here. I'd gone down to the port this morning, Port of Venus, and uh, it was coming back to my home, which is uh, very close to here. And I just happened to see a, a coach, and then I spotted the uh, Birmingham City crest. So I did a quick U-turn, followed it for half a mile. I kind of guessed I knew where it was going, because I'm familiar with these uh, surroundings. And uh, it went, as I thought, to the hotel, and uh, all the lads got out, and uh, I was able to see Gary Rowett and uh, one or two others that I know very well. Yeah, I think you caught Kevin Paul by surprise. He, he, he was a bit of a double take from Paulie, wasn't it? Well, initially uh, there was Roy, the photographer. Then there was uh, Kevin Pool, who, um, you know, did me great service when I was manager there. Kevin was uh, a great pro and um, pleased that he's still very much involved with blues. And then I saw yourself. <laughs> Just like old times, wasn't yeah. it? Um, Gary Rowett, you signed for Birmingham City for a million pounds. What sort of play was he for you? And... How have, you, how have you assessed him as a manager coming in, you know, as he did midway through last season? Well, I brought him from Derby County and uh, negotiated the deal with uh, my old manager, Jim Smith. So there's connections everywhere, you know, with this. Um, I thought Gary was uh, a very classy, stylish fullback, had great energy, um, had a terrific right foot, good on free kicks, um, could also play as a central defender. He was very versatile. You know, when you look back at the uh, fullbacks that Blues have had over the last 20, 30, even 40 years, I can't think of too many that's better than Gary Rowett. And um, obviously the team finished 10th, which was a remarkable turnaround considering he's in trouble in the, in the relegation zone. Well, I think most Blues fans were anticipating, uh, you know, a, a poor season. And that's the way it uh, started off. Then the change happened. And uh, the turnaround was nothing short of remarkable. I think they finished 10th, didn't they? Which um, nobody anticipated. It puts a lot of pressure now on uh, Gary for this new season because when you look at the, uh, you know, the finances available to him and um, you know, the quality of the squad, it's going to be really, really tough for him to improve on that 10th position. You know, I'm not being pessimistic, but... Um, I think that if he can keep the team uh, clear of relegation uh, without too many worries, I think you know most uh, Blues fans, certainly I will, will consider it to be um, another uh, good season. Mm -hmm. And just finally, Trevor, on July the 18th, we've got a very big event coming up in, in Birmingham the, to mark the 140th anniversary of the club. You must be looking forward to that and also catching up with a, with a, with a lot of familiar faces. I am looking forward to it. Uh, you know, I said to Ian Dutton that um, I will probably be here in Marbella, but um, I shall fly back on the day of the event. I wouldn't want to miss it. Um, he's, uh, you know, spoken to me on one or two occasions and, uh, you know, told me just how important it is. And I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, some of my old teammates, hopefully one or two uh, ex-managers uh, that have been uh, with Blues. And of course, you know, I shall know many, many supporters who will be present, you know, for the event. I'm taking a table myself, which uh, will give me the opportunity of uh, having uh, some of my close pals there. So uh, they're coming from uh, not just Birmingham, you know, friends from London in various parts of the country. So uh, it better be a good night. <laughs> and just, uh, j just to finish, th th this club, there's something peculiar about it. We've had a fair share of ups and downs over the years, but once you get immersed in it, it, it touches you there, doesn't it? No, no more than yourself as a schoolboy coming all the way up from Plymouth and, and the association you've had. Well, I think back to uh, a recent event, which was um, the end of November, when um, I was given the star in Birmingham, and uh, Jasper Carrot, um, you know, was uh, very much, um, you know, the leader in, uh, you know, making that happen and he organised for it to happen at Birmingham City. He couldn't have chosen a better day, you know, for the event to be held at St Andrews in a league game between Birmingham City and uh, Nottingham Forest. Um, that will go down as one of the great days in my footballing career. You know, half time, um, you know, to have my family there, close friends, my grandchildren, 
and to hear not just uh, you know blues fans but also the 4,000 Forest fans who were present you know singing my name and everybody in the ground applauding me it was a magical moment and uh, one that I'll never forget.